The Nightmare of the GI Surgeon. Various endoscopic treatments are available for the treatment of perforations and fistulas. Endoclips, over-the-scope clips, plugs, stents, and endoscopic suturing devices. How would you treat endoscopically an acute full-thickness esophageal perforation? Here we present a case of uh, full-thickness esophageal perforation in the mid-esophagus. One can see that the perforation measures about 2 centimeters in size. Given the size of the perforation and the quality of the tissues, the endoscopic suturing device was used to close the perforation. One can see the mechanism of the, the overstitch in the top right corner. A figure of eight stitch was placed endoscopically to completely close the perforation. In the top right corner, one can see the mechanism of the Apollo overstitch. We, one can see the post-stitching view with a cinch. Here we present another option. In a patient with the multiple fistulas within a gastric conduit post-anastomotic line dehiscence, one can see the multiple fistulas within the gastric pouch. Um, there are multiple gastrobronchial fistulas. As it is demonstrated, the guide wire passes from the gastric conduit to the bronchial orifice through the gastrobronchial fistula. The fistula plug is secured into the delivery sheath. Then it is pulled retrograde through the mouth until the plug is inserted into the fistula. Finally, Using the pull-through maneuver, and with the help of the snare, the plug is secured in place. Once multiple fistulas were closed with fistula plugs, the overstitch system was used to reinforce the staple line. As a last safety measure, a fully covered stent was placed over the staple line. The stent was fixed in place with the overstitch to prevent migration. Now, what are the options for a delayed presentation of a perforation of the distal esophagus by the bougie? One can see um, an endoclip that represents a previous attempt at closure of this fairly large esophageal perforation. Um, using the endoscope, one can have a view of the left chest and the mediastinal structures. A thoracic lavage was performed with suctioning of the purulent fluid. Given the size of the perforation, a double armed grasper is used uh, to pull the edges of, uh, of the esophagus into the cap using suction as well as the grasper one can align um, the edges of the perforation and allow the deployment of the over the scope clip this is also shown in the top left corner 
once the perfect positioning is obtained, the clip can be safely deployed. A chronic gastrocutaneous fistula closure with foreign body extraction was performed. A permanent suture present from a primary surgical attempted closure was removed endoscopically. The overstitch endoscopic suturing device was used to completely close the orifice of the fistula without stenosis of the pylorus. A simultaneous closure of jejunal and sigmoid fistulas was further performed. One can see here the jejunal cutaneous fistula. This small fistula was closed with a unique endoclep. Simultaneously, a second team using a colonoscope attempt, attempted the closure of a sigmoid fistula. Once again, applying suction on the cap allows delivery of the over-the-scope clip. <laughs> 